Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Blind Resident 2 Remake, of course, The Black Shadow. And I figured before we uh, get properly cracking on with today's video, there's a couple of bits that need to be addressed in regards to our run currently win Leon B. Firstly, and I am 100% sure... 100% sure that over the course of the previous two videos, at least one person has surely said in the comments uh, regarding the uh, M1911, the fact that uh, Leon holds the gun sort of like weirdly sideways with one hand. Now, somehow I've totally, completely derped and forgotten that that is indeed a, uh, a reference to the original game. Um, in which Leon does the same sort of thing. He holds a gun in a similar manner. Uh, I believe it's the locker. Uh, the locker in the dark room that in the original game 1998 you could unlock that uh, using the special key you get from fighting Brad um, outside the police station you get access to that it'll give you like an access to um, a gun if you're playing as Claire and both for both characters alternate outfits and uh, I believe for Leon um, you could actually alter the way you hold your gun like so so I'm sure someone has made a mention of that by this point and if not well that's what that's about still think it's dumb though but that's just me Second of all, in the course of two videos, we have made a lot of progress, effectively, into the police station. It has been pretty, pretty damn nuts. We have uh, scoured all sorts of things. We're already making our way down to the kennel area in the basement, which we didn't do until part, what, six, maybe, in the first run? I think the B game itself has something to do with that. The uh, the game is certainly throws you straight into uh, fun and games, for sure. But um, it has uh, taken me by surprise. I've had to kind of roll the punches. Thirdly, as a quite amusing fact, guess who didn't save the game between the end of last video and the one before that? So, <laughs> when we were going on, like, C4-ing uh, the West Storage Room on Danger with the Tyrant around about an hour into the game. I hadn't saved. So if I'd have died, I had to have redone everything. Oops. Anyways, with that all done, uh, let's go and put that away. I think we'll be fine. Um, let's make our way down into the basement. See what awaits us further down. We have, of course, got hold of the uh, both the Magnum as well as the Magnum uh, upgrade that was hiding down here, courtesy of the Stars badge. First weapon we've managed to upgrade, which is bizarre. Um, although, technically speaking, not the first time we've had access to a Magnum, uh, which is worth mentioning. Uh, I looked off screen. Uh, can I show this to you guys, actually? I might be able to. Yeah, I think it's here. So in the records here, you have a list of things like you've kind of, kind of been achievements you go along here. You'll notice if we come down here, kill enemies with a mag, which is referring to the Magnum. Notice how we've already got three kills. I've not fired the Magnum yet. Uh, this is because the uh, SLS, um, Claire's snub nose, uh, with the high-powered uh, rounds, effectively acts as a proxy Magnum, which is why we were doing so much damn damage to enemies. Uh, and we've killed three zombies with that gun. So effectively, that is, I guess, a bit of a glitch at the moment. That probably shouldn't be a thing that's currently occurring, but it is. Anyways, enough chatting about catching up, and it's time for us to... Uh, See what awaits us in here. What the? Now, somehow I doubt that was Sherry. <laughs> somehow. But we'll see. Well, it's not broke, which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa! It is you. Really, Birkin? I guess it's a thing we're doing. Jesus. 
I guess this is a thing we're doing. Okay. You, you fucking wish. So the good news this time, folks, is I don't just have a handgun. The bad news, my ammo could be a shitload better than what it is. But it is boss time against Mr. William Bergen. We better, uh, we better grab ourselves some goodies, everyone. I think we're gonna need them. Oh, God. Uh, no. That's a dead end. Oh. My head. Yeah, fuck you, you piece of shit. Ah, right, we need to get out of there. No choice. Gotta take it down. Agreed. Jeez. Well, there goes my knife, everyone. I liked having a knife. Good times. Also, I don't know what it was looking to do to me, but I probably don't want to know. Perhaps pop me like a melon. Speaking of being popped. <laughs> No blue herbs, by the way, as well, so I can't do anything much about that. There was an interesting thing that was also made mention of about the fact with uh, the Bergman. You can sort of see, like, he's literally, like, mutating in front of us. And in clear agony. Which is a nice sort of touch, because, you know, he would be. And it is kind of affecting as we go. Oh, this is kind of awkward. I don't have the most supplies in the world. Take this opportunity and go get some. Shotgun is empty. I kind of got hit round the face. He also looks really, really freaking quick. It's kind of uncomfortable. Yes, I know how to combine items, game. Thanks for that. Well, there he is. He did not like that at all, did he? Headshots still seem to sort of work against him. Which is good. Oh, William, what have you done? Hmm. So what do I do when I run out of handgun rounds? Cry? I think cry. Cry might be an option for us, everyone. Oh dear. <laughs> this could be a reload, because I think we're about to run out of ammo. So, I've run out of everything. Punch him! Do something! <laughs> Kick him if you must! So, I'm going to have to reload the game, because I don't have enough weapons to do this. It is obvious. I have, I have not enough for this fight. Well, shit. Hold on, folks. Hold on. Damn. Where is it? It's irrelevant. Bridge won't work on this thing. Should we try this again? I think we should. So, yeah, I, I should have realized that this fight was actually gonna happen. It made some logical sense. So this time I figured, let's bring a fucking Magnum, shall we? We've kind of got it. We should probably use it. Also, my head. I would very much appreciate you don't do that, Birkin. It's kind of rude. You motherfucker. Yeah, he didn't appreciate that. He did not appreciate that one damn bit. <laughs> Let's grab some supplies. Oh, bollocks. He's actually coming. Or maybe he just seems to be more interested in just beating the shit out of everything. That's also a thing he could be doing, interested in doing. Birkin! No! Stop doing that. You're bad. You're very bad. Look, I know you're suffering and everything. That is no reason to take it out on me. Goodness gracious. No choice. Gotta take it down. I can't want to save the main rounds if I can. I should not have walked in here. On the scale of decisions I have made in my life. This is a shit one. Ah, oh, my back. My beautiful back. Fucker. That was just a, such a terrible idea. Right, there's a red herb. There is. I also do need the ammo. Don't actually have very much. 
And Birkin is a fairly resilient dude. Game, I know how to work this shit, alright? Please. Is that everything? That is everything. There's less supplies in this fight than there were in the uh, in the Damn. in the A game run by, by the looks of it, which I guess makes some sense. It's meant to be kind of harder. Oh, hello. No, Birkin. I can't help you. I can't do anything for you at all. I'm sorry. I know that disappoints you. I'm sure. But it is a thing. Good. Great. Literally mutating before our eyes. It's 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 pretty bad. Oh god. <laughs> no! Don't do it! Damn, he's quick! Jeez! I've been playing Origin of Species again, this. Everything's just like super quick. No! Oh shit, he's like a literally right behind me. This is kinda bad. Trying to shoot him in the eye. Does seem to uh, have an effect. Well. So we've come to this, have we? So fucking be it. Come on then, Birkin. Give me a good fucking shot at you. Give me a good fucking... Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He grabbed me as well. That was so lucky. <laughs> he literally grabbed me as I shot him. I don't know what he would have done, but that could have been bad. I think I got away with one there. Damn. Whew. Fun fight. Somebody's watching. Yeah. It certainly wasn't Sherry. At least I doubt it was. I'm so glad I decided to bring this. This gun. Pretty awesome. Look at the size of this fucking thing. It's just like <laughs> ridiculous. Alright then. I think we are uh, we're out of here. So, yeah, someone probably is watching you. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. One wonders. Grab some more supplies. We did take a hit, which was unfortunate, but you know. Whatevs. I have to admit, actually, the size of this magnum almost kind of puts the shotgun kind of to shame. It must be stated. After this fight, than I thought it would be, but I guess I'm used to being with Claire and Sherry having a nice little chit chat about things on the way. So maybe that's kind of uh, altering things a little bit. But anyways, take the uh, Ingram, that's all well and good. There's pretty much everything here, it would appear so. Okay, then, so I'm reckoning what we're going to do for the time being is we're going to drop the uh, M1911. We might as well drop the shotgun too, seeing as it's pretty much empty. And I guess we're going to run with the Matilda for the time being. We might as well. Uh, we'll take the handgun around as it is, because we can actually go ahead and mix some more with the extra gunpowder, which would be pretty nice. Whoops. There we go. So we have some degree of ammunitions. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Okay, then. I've got no knife that was donated to Mr. Birkin. I could take the flash grenade. Yeah, sure, we'll take the flash grenade just as a emergency holy fucking shit situation. Uh, what do I want to take health-wise? Hmm. I don't know. But while I'm thinking about it, we might as well combine that up there and we'll put that away. That is our, uh, that, that's for bosses. That's our boss uh, boss fighter thing. Yeah, I think we'll run with that. That sounds good. Sweet. All right, then. Head on up uh, up the ladder and into the uh, into the underground. 
up into the underground? Hmm. It's not quite correct. Yeah, I know, Leon. Not quite what you were hoping for. Still oddly quiet. I am surprised. Unfortunately, as you can see, the uh, the shutter is still down, which means that we are going to have no choice but to uh, find ourselves a card. Now, I don't know if that means we're going to be heading off to Chief Iron's office to get it or not. I, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll have to see. Damn. Need a key card. Uh oh. That's a. Uh, Oh shit. You gotta be kidding me. Fucking dogs. Get off of me. Hey. Wow. Who is that? Stay sharp. Well, well, well. Lower it. FBI. What? Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know. That information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Wait a minute. I'm not done talking to you. Hey, you get back here. This is open? FBI? What? Also, where the hell is this? This is, uh, we didn't have access to this place in Claire's run. Huh. I don't have any idea where this is. Yeah, sure, we'll grab them. Interesting. It's not marked on the map. This whole area is, but that is not. Is this the holding cells, maybe? I guess it is. Yeah. Which means, uh, well, I guess none of these are going to open, are they? No. Yikes. It's a pretty shitty way to go, folks. Banged up in jail, probably in a fight with a zombie, and just left to zombify in, in a cell. Yeah, so none of those are going to do anything. That is unfortunate. Huh. I better know what that does. It actually says, yes, pull to open shutter. I get a funny feeling it's not talking about that one. Well, uh, we're not touching that right now. Let's keep going. Yeah, no, these want to open at all, do they? They do not. Hello. Hello? Is that? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. <laughs> Hello. Long enough. Are we the last one? That's who I figured this, isn't it? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. 
That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. <laughs> yeah, that's actually incredibly true. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Uh-oh. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. Ah. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Oh my. Is that? Holy shit. Ooh. Good grief. Who is that? It's just me. So you can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. <laughs> Look at her face. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. So, there's a lot that needs unpacking. <laughs> like, okay, so let's let's get everything here straight. That was Ben Bertolucci. As much as we enjoy his uh, snarky witticism, especially in the second game, and I still wasn't much fan of his dress sense. In this game, Ben survived what 45 seconds on camera before uh the tyrant decided to get to him and i have to be honest that is uh that is a shitty Ugh, what in the world shitty way to die good grief so he has on him the parking key car permit which will allow us to get out of the station Unfortunately, it's locked, and we need to find a way to unlock it. Secondly, and it's a big secondly, so, obviously, Ada is not quite who we thought she would be. And but it's a case of, yeah, all sorts of bizarreness. So, she's suggesting that she's with the FBI... Now, I don't know quite what's more implausible, whether she being with the FBI or being John's girlfriend with Umbrella. I'll, uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to work out for yourselves. One thing that does strike rather true, though, she doesn't give a single damn about Leon right now, although I suspect that is, that is going to change. So we need to get in here and get the card so we can get the hell out of the station. That sounds like a plan. What have we got here? Oh, okay. So, I don't know what's going on with the chief's office then. Maybe we can get there, but we can't get into the, into the thing for some reason. I don't know. Would we get access to it in the Leon A game? I don't know either. You typically couldn't. So that'd be interesting to see how that works. But with this, we can... We can certainly try, can't we? And see where that gets us. Okay. 
So that will work for us there. Very good. Uh, jail panel memo. Custom parts. Should be a few in the generator room. There's only one. The other one's in the clock tower. So uh, someone swipe. Uh, I mean, ask him nicely for it, please. Okay, so we got to find the two panel parts and, uh, well, get the hell out of here. Damn, Ben. I mean, it does make more sense than the bizarre plot hole of the first game in 1998 of how on earth G got into the cell. It was never really properly explained, so I guess that makes more logical sense. Now. The question is, do I flip this and assure we unlock all these cells? Because there could be any number of prizes in these cells, and I don't know. And looking is not particularly helping. Yeah, hello. So, the question is, do I open the cells? Followed by, do I open them now? Followed by, if I'm going to open them now, do I take out these zombies before opening the cells? I think given the fact that we have this whole freaking section to get through, maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't be looking to, 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 to open these cells right now. We can do this later. We've got some weaponry, perhaps, but we've just come off the back of a boss fight. It's used up a lot of supplies. I don't know what's in here, if anything worthwhile. We can come back and do this later at another time. It'll be fine, folks. It'll be fine. Those don't appear to even go anywhere at all. No, I don't think they go anywhere. I don't think they're a thing. Damn, Ben. That was a, that was a pretty shitty way to die. Okay. So let's get back out here. Hmm. I don't think that's open, is it? No, it is not. The uh, route to um, the route through here to the chief's office is unavailable. As many because the chief was one who opened it from the other side. Now, again, I don't know if that means I'm going to have any access to it in this game or whether I won't. I, I legit don't know. I really don't know what to expect. Um, how the B game is going to mix between what Leon A game would normally be like, which of course we've not done, as well as stuff that is now available because we're doing it as a B game. So I'm not too sure how that's all going to go. We shall have to see. Regardless. I somehow feel a bit under-equipped for this. Hmm. 